I'm going to Oman. I'm going to Oman to do this project about Dukum. Dukum is this entirely new city that's rising up from the middle of the desert. Why? Uh, I'm, a, I'm a traveler. You know, just like the prospect of a new Da on the map. It's just, uh, it's just too enticing to pass up. But eventually I got on the flight. I got on a flight from Dubai to Muscat and I noticed something right away that was kind of strange or at least not what I was expecting. Like the flight was just full of these young women from Uganda. Basically, masses and masses of young women from Uganda will go to uh, Muscat, will go to Oman to work as you know domestic servants basically they work in the homes they cook the food they clean the houses they take care of the kids basically they do all of the work that omani women really don't want to do you excited now are you excited you're here <laughs> What's that? You're, you're excited. Yeah, I'm excited. <laughs> Never been here before. I'm in Oman now. This is country number 85. I always get excited when coming to a new country uh, for the for the first time. But anyway, this airport is brand new. It was just open like only like a month ago. And these new like real fancy, like really nice, like very well thought out airports are kind of a sign of countries that are emerging or trying to emerge or you know reestablish themselves or rebrand themselves on, on the global stage right and Oman is, is definitely one of these countries right now and it's just a uh, I mean looking at airports looking at the main gateway you know international airports of countries is like almost a sure shot way to tell what countries are going up and what countries are stagnant or going down I got off the bus here, just kind of on the side of the highway, but this is Oman, it's a Middle Eastern country, so 
you know, almost everything's on the side of a highway. Now I, uh, I decided to take the bus from the airport instead of a taxi because taxi is like 20 bucks, right? The bus is like a dollar. But the bus doesn't take me exactly to where I want to go, so I have a bit of a walk. However, there's really nowhere I really want to go at this point because I can't even check into my hotel until like 2 p.m. It's around 10 a.m. now, so I'm just, well, just hanging out anyway, walking around. Yeah, yeah, it's good to finally meet you, man. That's Moni Shankar Prasad, or Moni for short. Now, I've known Moni for years, but I've never actually met him before in person. So when I started working on the Dukum story, he got in touch and he said, Hey, what do you know? I did the environmental and cultural survey for Dukum. What is this? Say, say that again. This is Matsra mm -hmm. in Muscat. This is a old trading outpost uh, of Muscat. Um, hundreds of years old. Uh, has been an epicenter of uh, many, many tra tra trading people coming all over the world from South Asia, Africa, uh, to other parts of Europe. It was a very important part of the imperial spice trade uh, by the British at one point of time. And you said there's been Indians here for like 150 uh, for, for 150 years who are right now Omani citizens. And uh, this is the uh, entrance of the Mantra Sukh, which okay. we can just see over here. Okay. And this is the uh, entrance of the Mantra Sukh. Mantra Sukh. Right? Yeah, it's afternoon. We'll walk. Huh? We'll walk a bit. It's very old Russian money before revolution, no? uh -huh. more than 100 years. Oh, wow. I also two dollar bills. Uh -huh. Let, let's see what I have for you. You know, uh -huh. Disney dollar. In Disney yes. dollar. Disneyland. I have one from Singapore for you. <laughs> <laughs> It is a very different world from uh, from an uh, from an organic uh, neighborhood in Oman, such as Matra, such as Rui, uh, such as Al Khwe. Um, but but the objective of such a township is also very very different. It is it is to attract investment, and it is almost um, on a scale of uh, of attract of attracting uh, investment and the talent to live in such a community. It creates a particular environment, very plush, it's global in aesthetic, very cosmopolitan. So it it perfectly blends into the Ministry of Tourism ecosystem over here, the, the vision, the imagination of a post oil Oman. Oman is a country that is in rapid transition by fiat. The country doesn't have that much oil left and the problem with that is that its economy is almost completely based on oil exports. 
So right now, Oman is like trying and put dumping all kinds of money into like these new ventures, building new cities, building you know new towns, you know trying to you know spark a tourism industry, a manufacturing industry, and they're building all this stuff up from the ground. And one of the reasons why I'm in Oman is because I just find you know these countries in transition, these countries that are trying to rapidly change, that are in you know rapid flux, incredibly fascinating. You know, I go to Oman and I look at all this stuff and I know that five, ten years from now, it's going to be completely different. Me black not come on set. Me and you, brother. Me and you. Yes. Yes. Okay, okay. Sweet, man.